Hi friends, welcome to the part 19 of this playlist all real certification questions on security speciality. I would recommend all of the people who aspire to become cloud engineers, data engineers in the cloud world, architects in the cloud world, you should go for this certification also. Please hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. You can also click the join button and become a cloud kernel, cloud ninja member. Let us jump into the questions. See, you have multiple EC2 instances and you have in ingress, egress and communication between EC2 instances. For example, you have so many EC2 instances and they have to communicate with each other. The rules are becoming so complex and they cannot be addressed to security groups or network ACLs. Normally using security groups, we are able to control the traffic to the resources. Okay. But there is a limit to it and that limit has been crossed. Now, what other thing can be used? See, whenever we see of such scenarios, if you are not able to do it at the EC2 instance level, go one level down at the operating system level. At the operating system level, you have host based firewall to implement these rules. What are host based firewalls? They are running on the individual computer or device. They are connected to a network. This is a granular way of protecting the individual host from viruses, malwares to control the spread of these harmful infections. So this looks to be a potential answer, but let us scan other options. First one says, hey, let's use WAF rules. WAF is about common exploits or SQL injections. If you want to protect from that kind of scenario, you use WAF. WAF will not help you with such set of access rules. So this is wrong. A is wrong. C says use NAT gateway. In some families, if you see, if you want to talk to the wife, you always have to go through their husbands. So the husband is the NATing device. They are the NAT gateway. Other people cannot talk to the wife directly. They have to go through the husband. Husband is the NAT gateway. Does the scenario say this? Does it say that EC2 is in the private instance and it cannot access internet? And that's why you want to put a NAT device in between? No, the question doesn't say so. NAT gateway will only be used if you have such scenarios. Okay, so this is wrong. Now D says that use a firewall based product from marketplace. So this we don't know. This is not a specific solution. I don't know which product from the marketplace they are recommending to use. So this would be my final solution, final answer. See, there is an incident happened. Now what you want to do is before the incident, what was the access after the incident? What was the IM permission access? You want to know that whether it caused it. So for that purpose, see whenever you want to know before and after the incident, like what configuration changes were made or such scenarios, you have, have to use config. Config will hold all the changes. It will hold all the changes of whatever is happening to the configuration or any permissions on IAM you are taking out or putting in. So you can use it for audit purpose. So A looks to be the potential answer, but let us look at B, C and D. See, this is telling you to generate the credential report and copy the output to S3. See, credential report will only give you status of various credentials, passwords, access keys and MFA devices. It will not give you the log data for audit of what, when did the permission change. So that is wrong. B will not work here. Let us look at C. C is talking about cloud formation. Was the first thing is cloud formation is an infrastructure as a code facility or service. Just like services like Terraform. It will help you to create your infrastructure from the code. When you want to create an infrastructure like similar to dev, you want to create a test environment. You can create a code and you can run it within Half an hour, you will have a new environment created. You don't have to manually create EC2 and others. Is that the requirement here? No. So this is wrong. Let us look at D. It is talking about using systems manager to deploy the images and review cloud trail logs. See systems manager will help you to gain operational insights both on AWS and on premises resources. It helps you with operations management, application management, change management, node management. Okay, so that probably is not useful here because which images we are talking about. That is a question. This other thing is uh, maybe like if, you, if they are talking about any EC2 instance image, I don't know which image. And the other thing is they are telling you to use cloud trail logs. See, it will record the actions taken by a user, a role or AWS service, what actions they have taken. But if that permission is changed or the configuration is changed, it will not hold that record. That record will be put in AWS config. So this would be my final answer. See, you have various, I'm looking at the next question now. So you have various EC2 instances and CloudWatch logs have, uh, logs agents have been in installed here. So it is installed here, it is installed here. And these agents, what they do, they are sending the data in centrally to one location for maintaining the log centrally. That is what happens in the real world. Now, what is happening is, suppose these are two instances. 
one instance the logs are getting received here okay but for the other instance the logs are not coming for instance two log is not coming what is the problem how will you troubleshoot what steps you will take to troubleshoot you want to choose two steps for me the first step would be this one i will run ec2 run command and i will see if the log service is running on all instances or not maybe the agent service the agent here is switched off it is shut down the agent i have to check whether the agent is running or not so that is my first answer let us look at the option b is option b also looks correct because what it is telling is i will then check if the agent is installed do does it have permission to create logs streams to put log events because that can also be an issue they may not have permissions so these are my two answers but let us scan through other options c is telling that you log entries were rejected because of invalid timestamp this is not the first action i will take because because of invalid timestamps between two systems application log entries first of all we are not taking of checking for application log entries we are uh, the application log files means we are talking about if the cpu is working fine and etc those things we are talking about from my application execution perspective so this invalid timestamp does not occur in this scenario d is talking about trusted relationship see first of all trusted relationship when it comes it comes between active directory when you use active directory you have this documentation you can create trust relationships between active directories on premises and on cloud when you have such scenarios you have ad both on premise premises and cloud then you use this so this is totally illogical option here and e is also illogical because it is talking about time zone difference that is not the case that will cause this problem so these two would be my final answers by the way if you have not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe and the like button if you like my videos it will help you immensely and like i always say do not think that only security guys will have to clear this certification you can also clear it if you want to be a cloud engineer architect data engineers anyone this is very important to understand it you can click the join button below this video or the link in the description and become a cloud colonel and a cloud ninja member it has access to lot more other questions also all of them are important see you in the next part